Hi, this is Juan from WantTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the Living Environment Regions for January 2017. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregions.org and down here you click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get to work. Here's problem nine. Uh, like humans, animals including dogs and cats get goosebumps. Um, on a cold day, these goosebumps cause their coats to expand, creating a layer of insulation. If the animal is scared, the coat will also expand, making the animal look larger to predators. Those responses serve as examples of allergic reactions, learned behaviors, detection and response to stimuli, or reproductive and feeding success. Definitely try this problem. Uh, see if you get the same answer as we do. Hit the like button if you do. Uh, and always choose an answer before watching the video. So, uh, how to do this? Let's well, let's see. It says like humans, right? That's that's a key hint. Animals, animals, including dogs and cats, get goosebumps. Okay. So, on a cold, uh, when do we get goosebumps? On a cold day, these goosebumps cause their coats to expand, creating a layer of insulation. And then, if the animal is scared, okay, the coat will exp also expand, making the animal look larger to predators. Now. Understand, we get goosebumps too. We need to have a very light coat uh, of fur. It's hair, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry, I have a cold. So if you hear me sniffling and, and coughing a little bit, uh, uh, I'm trying to get over it. Uh, so you, but point is, you know what goosebumps are. You get them. So um, use the fact that you know what they are to get answers. So let's see. Are they responses? Do, do these responses serve as examples of allergic reactions? Uh, I, I can't think of an allergic reaction that, that, that gives me goosebumps when I go out in the cold. No, that's not an allergic reaction at all. A learned behavior. Let's, if you're thinking about just the dogs and cats, well, on the cold day, you could imagine the dogs and cats doing uh, puffing up their fur or in response to a, a danger, uh, purposely puffing up their coat. But you get goosebumps too. Have you ever chosen to get goosebumps? You haven't. It just happens. So that's not a learned behavior. That just happens automatically. And it's an, it's an instinctual uh, reaction. So the next one, detection and response to stimuli. What would be the stimuli here? The cold and the, uh, the fright, the fear. So that sounds right. Uh, let's see the next one, reproductive and feeding success. Well, I can imagine how that can affect reproductive and feeding success to show strength, but that's not – We ha I have to go far and imagine that to see why that would possibly be an answer. So that's – and that's not – that def definitely doesn't happen – help the like, human reproduction. Getting goosebumps doesn't help human reproduction at all. So – uh, definitely not the answer, okay? So the answer is number three. Uh, if you're watching this video from our channel, thanks for watching and stay tuned for that next video starting now. If not, go to our channel, go to the, uh, uh, you know, subscribe and then go to the January 2017 Living Environment uh, Regions uh, and you can watch all the videos in sequence. And I'll stay tuned for that next video starting now.